We are back. The games are getting ready. Octane Domination is going to be yeah. our first map of the night. Tell me about your experience, Fwiz. Are you enjoying Domination with the new Call of Duty Ghost Game modes? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's I like, I love Octane to be honest. Octane's a great map. It Pawn, is a great map. Pawn is a great spot to hold down. You're going to see a lot of teams trying to go behind each other to contest the flag, sure. cause some disruption, force the teams to double back before fighting for B. All the action, all game long, when it comes to domination, is always going to happen at that it's B. It's good flag. to see it back. I liked, I liked, you know, watching domination in Call of Duty 4 was like one of my favorite modes to cast back then. So I'm excited. We're about to kick this off. Finally, the players are ready. We're jumping in. We are done. We've just been talking the whole time. I almost got caught dancing during that commercial break. So let's get into <laughs> the game. Domination Octane, game number one. All-star matchup. Everyone's ready to go. Stro going to do the T1 callouts, and let's do it. All right. So as we load up this map, if you're new to Call of Duty Ghosts, Octane, well, it's probably one of the ones you've seen quite a bit in the playlist. Fans seem to love it. You're of course, going to have the pawn as well as the strip club as the two major buildings to hold down. And the motel will have the second floor where you're going to see ARs try and get set up. But at the start, the players are all going to be in their bases. And I want to start off with Karma as we get straight into the action. Karma from Envy going with his thermal scope, and he's got the L115 custom. Boys are just going at it and going to get taken out there. Karma just doing the work just to kick things off. Looking yeah. good with the snipes, man. Quick pick early yeah. on. TP's got two kills as well for this alpha lineup. As things are looking good, you can see they're taking B. They've already captured C. B is going to be contested slightly as TP will go down, but Karma still stayed alive. And out comes that P226 with the muzzle break, giving it a little extended range. Karma goes down, and we're going to jump on board with Proofy from the Bravo team. Didn't have the best of luck there. We're going to stay on board with him through the respawn. And you can see Alpha had two-man stack on that B spot. And just a quick shout-out, Crim6 is, is, I think Aix is just being a troll. It's actually Aix. It's not Crim that's playing <laughs> in there. And in typical Aix fashion, so we're on board with Proofy. He's going to get taken out, switching over onto our next player. Is going to be Sharp here with Team Caliber. He's, this Sharp's been around the scene for a while. He's won a national championship. Clearly a talented guy. Love seeing that he's in this matchup. And he's going to try to get in there again. Neither team able to get B yet, so we're just even score here at A and C. Sharp's probably one of the funniest guys in the venue oh, right now. Oh, yeah. As well. You saw him dancing earlier, too. He's a real good guy, <laughs> fun, certainly funny. And now he's racking up some kills for his squad here as they're going to start making moves into B, just trying to clear off everybody before they get in. And there you can see the new mini-map, guys. By hitting R, you can bring up the scoreboard on the right, which helps you switch players. Hitting L brings up the mini-map. And I want to show this off real quick. Yeah. Look what Infinity Ward and Activision have put in. Static cams, which you can control all the way through using your broadcaster mode. And right now, we're going to take a look at Aix, who is on top. He's playing underneath Krim6, and he's going to get down into the action with his SC2010, trying to get that player at B, and it's not going to happen. Karma, though, leading the way for the Alpha Squad with his sniper up top. It's in a position to do some damage, and excuse me, that is not a sniper at all. So Alpha is going to go ahead, and they now have B. So finally, after, you know, it, it took a little bit of time for someone to finally take over B, but they've done it, and that's going to be in the hands of Alpha. So, uh, you know, clearly a big part of it will just be to try to hold it down as we are on board with Karma here. And he is looking to just drop the noise on somebody as he's going to work behind enemy lines. However, they are starting to lose C as somebody has rolled over for the Bravo team and is making some moves back there. Yeah, Karma is going to be making his way over to A, make sure everything is good to go. Switch backs to his thermal, and he's rocking the Remington, one of the strongest ARs. Unfortunately, doesn't live too long. Proofy is there to do the damage, and 7-7 seven, seven for Sharp, Proofy, and it looks like Aix for a moment. Fuzz, who's your player to watch? No, I actually want to get back on board. I mean, well, look, TP's 10 and 7, so we talk about TP being an objective player, but he's also the one out slaying everybody. Whoa. So let's actually jump on with him. We just got him killed here. Maybe switch over to Scum. But that team doing a great job holding, holding things down as now Scum hanging around the B flag, just making sure nobody moves in on here. He's going to swap his gun out. And I love it, man. This is off to a good start. MTAR in hand for Scump as he picks up his six kill. Now 6-6. Six, six. He also has three captures, most in the game. So playing quite a bit of objective here. And he is going to be continuing to put on the pressure. They already have two flags. He's getting greedy, going for the third. And look at that scoreboard. You can see 55 to 36. 
two points every second for the Al or every five seconds for the Alpha guys, just one point for the Bravo squad. So you've got Scum going for the three cap. This Alpha team taking care of business. He does. He just is going to knock it out. So he's not going to capture it all the way through. He knows somebody's he's probably coming it. for him. He's definitely baiting him out. Nobody did come. However, Bravo team not scoring points here. Alpha looking very strong. As Scum's just going to hang out here on the A side. They're, Bravo's struggling to move in and grab anything. And now you see he's starting to be lost. It was Aches that won in there. Scum comes in, takes him out. Nice play by the Alpha squad. And Scum doing a nice job getting rid of the points for the Bravo team. We are on board now with Karma. And Karma, Ooh, he's got the sniper back out here. Just hit that shot. That is going to be his 15th kill. Currently 15 and 10 leading the way. Let's stay on board with him through the respawn. Yeah, he's got the snipes. I Ooh, Ooh. I, thought was, I thought he was going to do some work there. He's got the ghillie suit out as well. So Karma pulling out all the sniping stops here. As now time is dwindling down on the clock. 25 seconds left in the half. 83 to 44. I mean, Alpha just obliterating the Bravo squad here early on. And really, it, it's been at the hands of Karma and TP. I mean, TP going 15 and 11 and Karma going 15 and 12. Those guys. And I do want to call out. Scump's positive with three caps. So I think everybody on the Alpha, you know, they, they were doing their fair share of work. When everyone's positive, you're going to win the yeah, game. Yeah, They're going to take the first half of domination. Now, in our rule set, we're going to play one side of Dom for five minutes. Yep. We're going to take a short break, switch sides, and add up the final score. And this one was all wow. Alpha. Look at that dropping wow. shot from Karma. Karma. You dirty, dirty man. Yeah, so the five minute swap, it makes sense, right? You want to keep it balanced. Give, but yeah, we know. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's so humble. So. Uh, yeah, so five <laughs> minutes on each side, we add the points up. And basically, the reason for that is to make you know, it's fair. You get a crack at each side of your domination cap points. Uh, this map, you know, pretty balanced, but it's, it's nice to have those five minutes. And uh, I, I, I think the boys on this Alpha squad played it perfectly. You know, they got into their opponent's yep. base. They stopped the point total from going up by contesting the flags. They controlled B early on with the two-man stack. TP had a huge play. There was Scump to secure it at the start. And they never looked back. They controlled it. What does this Bravo team need to do differently in the second half? I don't know. You know, like, the Bravo team was playing the objective. It's not like they, they were consciously trying to make moves on the domination points. But again, at the end of the day, you look at this alpha team and you see Karma, Skump, Killa, and TP on a team. It's, it's, it's over. It's, it's over. over? Yeah, it's over. I mean, no chance. So, no chance. I mean, I, mm, if, that team is so deadly, man. Daddy Fwiz was building his team, yeah, I, you, yeah. you're making the Fwiz empire. I'm going to own a team and I'm picking this, these boys this up. This is your I'm squad? sorry, Hex. I'm taking Skump. Yep. You're taking it. Yep. Stro, yep. karma's gone, bro. Karma's gone, too. <laughs> Sorry about yeah. that. That just happened. Of also course, TP doing damage there. Yeah. Well, Karma is going to be hosting up the second half. That is also bad news for our friends on the Bravo squad. Yep. Aches, Proofy, Sharp, and J-Cap, they have the work cut out for them, but I think they can do it. It's still within reach. You know, like, it, it wasn't a crazy blowout. I mean, they did take away B. They held it for a while, but there's no doubt in my mind that this team can't come back in and, and whatnot and do something about it. So the boys are gearing up our new lobby timer, set to 60 to make sure that everyone gets in. Yep. Thank you for that. Inclu including me, that ADHD was not paying attention, so I appreciate that countdown timer right now as well as a, <laughs> as a caster. We all have our issues. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, well, we are looking at Octane round two. It was all alpha in the first half. Can the boys from Bravo make their comeback? We're going to start on board. I want to see what J-Cap is running in the new game. Is he going sub, or is he going to be sticking with the assault rifle? He I, was a big fan of the M8 back in Black Ops 2. Yeah, it's uh, you know each Call of Duty has kind of a, an AR, SMG kind of favor and uh, favoritism. And this game is a, is a heavy AR, and especially on a map like Octane, you're going to find it way more advantageous. But you know, not he's not he's not doing that. So he looks like he's going to roll with the SMG and as we are jumping on board here with J-Cap of the Optic Squad as we're going to cut into the gameplay. Our first half was 48 to 89, Fwiz. So a yeah, thanks big for writing that chunk down. of time. Yeah. Another ADHD issue is me missing the scores in between game and then having to do simple math, which is also a struggle. So we're just finding out a lot about me right now as we are in the <laughs> eyes of J-Cap here trying to represent for the Optic Boys. And again, 
they are down. The Bravo team struggling to get things going in the first half. They've got to step it up here going into the second half of this domination game. JCap opening up three and zero. Yeah, he's, he's mad. I love it. He's going already mad. to A, spotting the spawners. Unfortunately, going to get picked from the side. Let's jump on board with Scarp. The Sharp didn't last long as he was just met by a kill. But I want to see what Sharp is doing through the respawn. He seems to be trying to hold down the middle control, and it looks like they are going to send him to go capture C. Not going to happen. Back to cap we go. Yeah, interesting plays by them. I mean, they try to be, again, like previous dominations in Call of Duty, it's, it, I feel like it's a little bit easier to cap domination points. Not in this game. I mean, you've got to make a conscious effort. You really need to step up. So they try to make a quick B push in there to grab it and hold it down. So that is all locked up. That's a really good move for our Ghost Squad here as now we are continuing to stay in the eyes of J-Cap. He's going to get taken out, switching on board with Proofy in the Bravo Squad. Again, they do have that B. They've got to start making moves and capture home base C. I want to switch over to see what Kill is up to. We saw him take out Sharp earlier on in the game. And right now, he is going to make sure A is locked down. And before sneaking up to B, nice work there. Scum coming from the back, killing in the front. Will both players try and push into B together? And there you have it as they're starting to make a move. Just holding it down. I like you know, I don't, I like what, what's going on here. And look at that mini-map, yeah. guys. Those I love the mini-map, too. The blurred around and, and, and full blowout. But yeah, three orange arrows coming around. And there it is. He gets taken out. As now, let's switch over to TP. He had a great first half. Ooh. Gets taken out there right away. You want to stay on board with him through the I kind of do want to stay on TP. He had, he had such a, a great start, and he looks like he's continuing that momentum again here at 6-5. and five. Uh, let's, let's keep an eyes on him. I will say Aix is struggling on the other team. On our Bravo squad, Aix is at 2-7 and seven here. So he's got to step it up for that Bravo team if they're going to jump back into this and try to beat Alpha. Of course, Aix once again playing under Crim6. If you're just now joining us, the first map score was 89 for Alpha to just 48 for Bravo. Currently, we are seeing the score at 16 to 46 as the boys from Bravo definitely struggling. This is, or excuse me, Alpha definitely struggling in the second round. It's all been Alpha and TP starting to heat up though for this Alpha oh squad. Nice two straight kills there. Woo. He is 10, five and one, double positive. This boy is on fire here in Domination. He's doing it all. Playing the objective, he's out slaying everybody and finally gets taken out as we switch back on Karma. He's got that sniper rifle. He has a round and he kills him. Oh. He makes it look really easy here as he's taking some shots, looking around. Picks up another Don't one. Challenge Karma this kid. just on a roll here with the sniper holding it down. And now he is making it happen. 12 and 3. Finally, he was taken quad out. positive yeah, quad right there. Positive, quad yeah. pos. I, like I don't think that. I've ever had to use that term. Thank you, you Karma. Again. All right, well, Karma. Keeping this sniper out, he is feeling this ghillie suit. Another up close oh, battle. Jcap is going to take this one. Jcap, only player in double digits for his squad. 10, 8, and 1. Proofy, Aches, and Sharp all getting outslayed. We're going to stay on board with Cap through the respawn here for the Alpha or Bravo Yeah, Cap's squad. holding it down for his team. I mean, he's positive. He's got a capture. No pun intended. A cap underneath his name, um, and they're looking good. But again. Clearly it needs a team effort from the rest of that squad. It's going to be Aches and, and Sharp that need to step up. Proof he's got to hold his weight as we are on board with Jcap, and he's got a very, very focused Look game Look at that intensity, yeah. man. This yeah. is, there's no money on the line, no prize on the line, purely pride. Cap wants to get this Bravo squad a win, 75 to 37. Remember the previous score total to beat was a 41 second advantage for our Alpha squad, Bravo. They're up by 35, but still have the work cut out for them. They got to stop out from capping. 77 to 43. It's not even going to be possible at this point. So your alpha team, again, TP called it. I mean, he was he was very confident in his squad in the interview that we had earlier. And uh, I can see why. I can see why he was so confident, Puckett. Speaking of deep, the MTAR in hand, and he is not done doing damage. Fortunately, a grenade will take him down, but Karma finishes the game at 15 and 7. Looking for number 16. Peekaboo. Oh, oh just no. to the left. Karma oh. will go down. That KD falling that KD. just at the end. Just outside double positive, but what a match here to kick it off. It is the boys from our Alpha squad, and it's TP with your TV. round ending kill cam. 16, 10, and 2 in the second half for Team. Look at that. Look at that scoreboard. Whew. That's a brutal slaying right there, Puckett. Nice work by the boys on Alpha. A strong start at game number one. We're playing three games here in the all-star mode. And Bravo, 
They gotta hope that the next lineup can do a little bit better than that on Blitz. It's gonna be Crib Six, Parasite, Nade Shot, and Merc up next on your main stage after this commercial break.